Hi everyone, welcome to the ACCA Financial Accounting Debrief Session. This is question number four, and let us now look at these questions that relates to calculating the amount that relates to purchases in the statement of profit or loss. Now Annie is a sole trader who does not keep full accounting records. The following details relate to transactions with the credit customers and suppliers for year ended 30 June 2006. Now, so we get to see the list of items given in the questions that would be for both the trade receivables and trade payables. But again, in order for us now to peek or to extract the items for the scenario, let us see the requirement. Now, what figure should appear in any statement of profit or loss for the year and the 30th June 2006 for purchases? Now, again, we're here to look at purchases so we know we have to extract those items that relate to trade payables. So for a start, we get to see both the opening balances for trade receivables and trade payables. So again, we will need these figure. Now, as at 1st July 2005, this is 60,000. Now, moving on, we have the cash received from customers. But again, this is irrelevant here. And we get to see the cash paid to suppliers. Now, so we get to know from here that these will reduce the amount, right, owing to the trade payables. Now, that refers to the total or the closing balance. Now, moving on, discount received should be recorded as well. And we get to see the contract between trade payables and trade receivables. And should these be recorded in our answer here, in order to derive that closing balance, the answer is yes. Now moving on, following by the last two items here, as everyone gets to see that the closing balances for both the trade receivables and payables. But again, all you need is just the closing balance for trade payables. And this comes to $84,000. Now, so right here, on your right, as you can see, this is how we're going to calculate the purchases figure. So let us just fill in the blanks as we know, and this starts from $60,000, and that will be the opening balance. But we have no idea currently how much is the purchases. Now, what about here, in order for us to calculate these balancing figure. So all you need to do, as I mentioned just now, that we have to record the payment figure, now which is to the suppliers. Now we understand that these would be $302,800, and that's the payments made. And what about the discount received? Now looking at this discount received here, we understand that it would be, it comes to about 2960. Yeah, that's right. Now moving on. Contra, not to forget about these. And these would be a $2,000. And of course, at last, by recording the closing balance as well, and in which it comes to about $84,000. And I believed for now, to derive at the final or the balancing figure, would that be possible? The answer is Yes, it's quite straightforward. And I would say that here, now this for chases that arising from the uh, credit purchases or the transactions or the suppliers. So we know that the balance figure here for the purchases is 331,760. All right, so I hope everyone derived that the same answer as well for the purchases.